Zephaniah, Zephaniah, chapter 2. Gather together, gather together, O nation without shame. Before the law gives birth, the day shall pass on like chaff. Before the burning wrath of Yah comes upon you, before the day of wrath of Yah comes upon you, seek Yah, all you meek ones of the earth, who have done his right ruling. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, if so be that you are hidden in the day of wrath of Yah. For Azza is abandoned, and Ashkelon laid waste. Ashdod is driven out at noonday, and Ekron is uprooted. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Carathites. The word of Yah is against you, O Canaan, land of the Philistines, and I shall destroy you, so that there is no inhabitant. And the sea coast shall be pastures, shepherds' meadows, and enclosures for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Yehuda. They shall feed their flocks on it. At evening they lie down in the houses of Ashkelon. For Yah their Elohim shall visit them and turn back their captivity. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revilings of the children of Ammon, with which they have reproached my people and exalted themselves against their borders. Therefore, as I live, declares Yah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, Moab shall be like Sidon, and the children of Ammon like Amora, a possession for weeds and a pit of salt, and a waste for ever. The remnant of my people plunder them, and the rest of my nation possess them. This is what they get for their pride, because they have reproached and exalted themselves against the people of Yah of hosts. Yah shall be awesome to them, for he shall make all the mighty ones of the earth to shrivel, while all the coastlands of the nations bow down to him, each one from its place. You too, O Kishites, are to be slain by my sword. And he shall stretch out his hand against the north, and destroy Asher, and make Nineveh a waste, as dry as a wilderness. And droves shall lie down in her midst, every beast of the nation, both pelican and bitter lodge, in the tops of her columns, a voice singing at the window, Ruin be at the threshold, for the cedar work is exposed. This is the exultant city that is dwelling in safety, that said in her heart, I am it. And there is none but me. How she has be- how has she become a waste, a place for beasts to lie down? Everyone who passes by her whistles and shakes his fists.